I want to speak to a little bit of a hubbub that's been in the media lately about whether or not I was insensitive in regards to the Holocaust. I don't believe I was. I was making a comparison between the incremental change that frequently occurs and is oftentimes missed by people living through it at the time. It's oftentimes incremental change designed by government to effect sweeping societal changes, frequently centering on compliance and control. Martin Niemöller wrote this essay following World War II. He said, first they came for the communists, and I did not speak out because I was not a communist. Then they came for the socialists, and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak out for me. I think what he's getting at, and this is someone who was anti-Semitic in the early part of World War II and came to have a complete change of heart. But he's speaking about incrementalism, and I believe that this happens. And I think in order for us to glean the big lessons from horrific catastrophes in the history of mankind, we frequently have to go deeper and ask ourselves, what were the incremental changes beforehand that might have tipped us off? That's what we do in medicine frequently. We work it backwards and we say, where did we make a mistake? Where did we turn a blind eye? Where did we not focus on what was happening? So when I make a comparison that says that I saw government policies intruding on American freedoms incrementally, one piece at a time, and compare that to what happened in the 1930s, I think it's a legitimate comparison. It may not strike your fancy, that's fine. But this is how I think. And you don't get to be my thought police person. I get to think myself and do for myself how I analyze things. And we all should do that. So I just wanted to put out a point of clarification. I'm passionate in my support of the state of Israel as well as the Jewish people.